Mama, it's a well-known song, but did you know that it differs between official versions? What you're hearing now, it's the album version. It has shorter and longer versions. The shorter ones are just the original but cut, and the longer 12-inch version adds an extra verse. What about listening something different then? The pre-released version. I can't play it in its entirety, but if you want to hear, just click the link in the description. Anyways, this version is much longer than the 12-inch version and it also features more instrumental parts. The single version is the shortest, clocking at 4 minutes and 54 seconds, while the 12-inch version is the longest at 7 minutes and 27 seconds, which adds a new verse to the album version. For measure, the album version is 6 minutes and 52 seconds, and the pre-release is 10 minutes and 52 seconds. Before we continue to the live versions, there's another video I need to show. An exclusive Strike to TV Mama video. I don't know if this counts as official, but if it is, then this is the shortest. It's just 3 minutes. Going live now! This comes from the Mama Tour VHS, and as every other live version, it skips the 12 inch verse. I still find amusing that they are using a different pulsating synth bass than the one on the album. Wait, what? Yes, indeed, what? This is the live bass. And this is the original. They sound different. The original sounds more robust. Maybe the pre-release version can shed some light on what's different more clearly. That sound. I don't know what happened that they weren't able to use the original bass on the tours. But anyways, the 1986 Invisible Touch Tour started with MAMA. Not much different was done from the previous tour though. Before making We Can Dance, Genesis was asked to play another show in 1990, and they started with Mama, very similar to 1986. Since it was after a Phil Collins show, the scenery is obviously different, and so is Phil. Yet Tony and Mike arrived with the same clothes from the 1987 tour. Hmm. You will believe that Mama wasn't featured in the We Can Dance tour, since it didn't appear on the Laserdisc recording, but you are wrong. It was played on a few shows in May of 1992. This one is played as it is, but there is one a little more interesting. That continues from Hold On My Heart. As you can hear, it continues the trend of the previous tours, but then, why wasn't it played on all the shows? Genesis decided to drop the song from the set list, instead of dropping the key, since Phil has trouble singing it. that will change in the next tour, played for the entirety of the tour, but in a lower key and by Ray Wilson. In 2007, they finally used the original bass, also the key was kept low so to accommodate Phil's recent voice. Now, for 2021, rumors say that the song was rehearsed once. This is one of the easier songs they could play instrumentally speaking, yet I don't think they would play it because of Phil's voice, but I could be wrong. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Looking forward to Genesis' future. Long live them and the music.